We all know that the amazing megalithic stone structures all over the world are deeply mysterious. Nobody knows how, when, or who built them. Classic archaeology claims they were built between four and 7,000 years ago and built by the indigenous Indians, the Aztecs or the Incas. But were they? In Peru, there is the amazing site at Tiwanaku, and a part of this is also Pumaponco. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate to you that they are probably much older than anybody thinks, and more importantly, they were not built by the same civilizations. That in fact, the originals were built by an unknown earlier civilization that was clearly technically more advanced, and that later the Incas added to these structures making it appear as if it was their own. The first thing that is evident when you look at these structures is the sort of randomness of the way that they're constructed, which is in stark difference to these type of structures, which are incredibly technically well put together, with joints that you can not slide a piece of paper between. And you'll notice that often the well-built structures are on the bottom with the lesser technically built structures on top or around them. It's clear and evident to any observer that the skills of the builders of these giant blocks that are so precisely fitted together are completely different from the skills of the builders of the more rubble-built type of walling. And in this example, you can see quite clearly that the walling is completely different from the standing stone structures that are interspersed and that the walls were actually built long after the standing stone structures. And if you look at the weathering of the stone structures, it's clear that they look thousands of years older than the blocks used to make the walls. But it's the technical specification of these stones which will prove that this came from a civilization that was technically much more advanced than the Incas or the Aztecs ever were. Now I'm not going to suggest that a top quality stonemason using hand tools can't produce fantastic works of art as we can see in these illustrations, but one thing they cannot do is produce the kind of technical specification used in the megalithic blocks in Pumapunco and Tiwanaku. Engineers have examined these blocks using sophisticated modern equipment to measure things like internal and external angles, parallel lines and the smoothness of the faces. These instruments measure to an accuracy of between a thousand to ten thousandth of an inch. That's beyond the ability of the human eye to see or perceive. And when they look at, for instance, the grooves on these blocks, the grooves are precisely the same depth and precisely the same width along their entire length to within one ten thousandth of an inch. This is impossible to achieve with the naked eye and with hand tools. Even more telling is that the internal angles are so sharp deep into the corners that this could not be achieved with even the most finest of hand tools. And certainly not with the copper chisels that the Incas had available to them. Further, the angles on these blocks are exactly 90 degrees, not out by even a fraction, and the surfaces are so smooth to within a thousandth of an inch. Again, something that's impossible to achieve using hand tools, even for a modern day stonemason. We can therefore conclude that the makers and builders of these structures held a technical excellence that can only have been achieved using some kind of machinery that would provide a consistent, accurate finish in all planes. And that this technology must have been lost because the later builders who came and built on top of these structures clearly did not possess the ability, although they tried to replicate the same kind of look. 
they also could not replicate the ability to move the giant megalith blocks that weigh anything from two or three tons to a hundred tons. They used much smaller blocks that were easier to move. The original builders chose, for instance, to build this sun gate from a single block of stone, when clearly it would have been easier to build it from two pillars and a lintel. They did this for a reason. The reason was that they knew how to create this structure easily rather than doing it a more difficult way. So an even greater mystery actually exists. Who were these original builders and what was the technology that they had in their possession? We believe it may well have been lost in a giant cataclysm that engulfed the whole of the Tiwanaku plain and this may have in some way destroyed that civilization and the technology they had at their disposal. We know, for instance, that Lake Titicaca now exists a fair distance from Tiwanaku and that it once actually came right up to the footsteps of Tiwanaku. So clearly there has been a giant shift in the plain itself. There is no doubt now that a previous civilization did exist that had these amazing technical abilities. And the question remains now, who were they? How did they acquire and how long did they take to acquire these technologies? And what was the cataclysm that caused us to lose that knowledge? Hopefully time will reveal the answer to this mystery. If you like this video, please click the like button and also subscribe to the channel for more updates and also remember when you do subscribe to click the uh, little wheel there so that you get updates through to your inbox. Thanks for watching.